Okay, welcome to prototype number two of the iPhone HUD. Um, this version is going to be a little more open than the other one. It doesn't have any enclosing sides. Um, and it's also in landscape instead of portrait. Um, I also have updated the software. Uh, so I'll give you a little bit of an overview of the software and how the app performs. Uh, but basically, um, this is the new layout to see if uh, having the exposure from the sun on sides is going to cause too much interference. I also switched to an iPhone 6 because the uh, iPhone 4 is out of date for software development and uh, I needed to switch to something a little newer. So. Uh, We'll switch to showing you some of updates that I've done to the app. Okay, to start off with, the app has settings now. And you can go and uh, open up the settings for the particular HUD application. And you can see now that the settings have uh, an authorization for access to the location services as well as some indexer speeds. These are used for graphical display of the indexer. Uh, I have the speeds set to uh, pretty low limits right now. These are not speeds you'd normally use in an airplane, but uh, they work fine for demonstration purposes in a car. Um, so basically, if you want to change the speed, you just tap on it and type in a new value. All right. Okay, the app itself is just a normal iPhone kind of app. Just tap on it to start, and we see that it comes up with uh, magnetic heading, altitude, and speed. Um, and we have some controls down at the bottom. The controls down at the bottom allow us to do things like switch it from portrait to landscape mode. Uh, but we don't want to have it switch in flight, so we can do things like hit uh, hit this lock button. And that lets us bank, do whatever we need to do in the airplane um, without having it uh, rotate the interface on us. It makes it a little easier for testing when I'm switching back and forth between portrait and, uh, and landscape modes. So we'll unlock that for the moment, put it in landscape. Since the new prototype is running in landscape mode, I want to have that work uh, that way. And we have uh, a control here called HUD, the HUD button. Uh, that lets us slip the iPhone into the HUD mount and have it uh, work correctly off the combining glass. Uh, so I'm going to set that up right now. I'm going to get the iPhone attached into the HUD itself, and then I'll be back in just a second. Okay, here we are back with the HUD, um, and we have uh, the HUD turned on, landscape mode. You can see that uh, we're starting to speed up Basically, the additions that we have here are magnetic compass headings uh, and the altitude over the previous application that we had. Um, the other thing that uh, has also been included in this particular version is the indexer. Now, the indexer is used to give you some indications of airspeed in a very quick and graphical form. Okay, here's where we get into a demo of the indexer. Uh, the indexer is not armed until you uh, exceed the white arc uh, maximum limit. So you get into a cruise setting. Um, I have that currently set up for 45, so we've exceeded that, and now we can start slowing down. We'll start seeing the indexer pop up right about now. Okay, so we see that we are. Uh, in a, uh, a higher speed than we need to be. 
uh, but as we slow down we can see that uh, we're getting towards the best glide speed which is indicated by the lower circle and the, the green carrot as we uh, start to slow down beyond the the best glide speed we get to an on speed indication for our approach configuration and then from there we start to slow down even further uh, we expect to see touchdown uh, roughly in uh, the 30 mile an hour range and so that's about where we we see that and then beyond that once we really start to slow down then we get really slow and we should see just the uh, the red carrot looks like I got a bug bug in the code um, but the uh, red carrot should display when the uh, uh, stall warning speed uh, is indicated and then once you start to get below uh, the white arc uh, below your normal flying speed the indexer will go ahead and shut off okay so that's about it for today um, and need some more updates and get some more demos coming